Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our February 28th, 2019 and angelic reading card pool thing. <laughs> so here's our reading for February 28th, the last day of the month. I know, I know. Let's see what we have going on. So we have Skull Sight Peace. Now that's really interesting because if you watch the, the weekly, and I hope you will consider watching the weekly as well, if I remember correctly, I think the uh, conflict card came out. And I think I said, you know, on February 28th, this could be very, very interesting to see what comes up. So there was conflict on that day and then peace. So something really needs to be broken open. You are coming to peace with something. You are learning how to heal and let go. This has this um, kind of, um, I don't know, like a bittersweet kind of feel about it. Like it's, it's, it kind of starts out with like, oh, this is uncomfortable. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to look at this. And then you're so glad you did. You know, this could just be getting something off your plate, right? I mean, it could be anything. I remember I was having to get an oil change and I had to fight about a care package that I had gotten and it wasn't a part of it. And I was like, oh, this is so terrible. I don't want to face this. And then it was over and I was like, oh, I made way too much out of that. That was like... <laughs> <laughs> that was smooth sailing. It was no problem. So this is that kind of piece that we're talking about. I'm giving a silly example, but for you, it might be, you know, it could be that you thought someone was your enemy, but you find out that you guys can actually make peace. Maybe you have more in common than you thought. Um, I get a real distinct feeling around siblings. This could be a powerful day for siblings uh, that are grownups that come to peace. All right. But this could also really be coming to peace with your circumstances. Radical acceptance, just kind of like, hey, this is how it is. And I'm not going to wait for my life to look like X, Y, and Z before I can be happy. I'm just going to be happy right now. Yes. So that's what this is talking about. So strive for the peace, no matter what you have to do. If that means you have to call in sick, <laughs> if you do that, don't tell your boss that it was me who told you to do that. Um, your decisions are your own. But, you know, if you need to spend a little time meditating that day or what have you, by all means, go ahead and do it. All right. Sending you guys all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.